Folks, welcome back to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. <laughs> Holy shit, that DVD looks magnificent. I'm going to buy seven copies, and I probably got one free. Folks, this is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, and what we like is wrestling. And you know what's great about wrestling? How good it used to be. So let's remember how good wrestling used to be in a segment we like to call Remember When. I remember when Again, again Remember when Again and again Multiple title holders It is a rare but amazing occurrence When one professional wrestler will hold multiple titles at the same time whether it be two tag belts or two uh belts from different federations it's a thing that happens it's unique and it's awesome i remember in uh one of the most interesting times in wwe history recent history rob van Damn. He held two titles at the same time, and not dinky little shitbag titles. He wasn't like European and 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 butt sex champion. He was the WWE <laughs> champion and the I ECW missed, at the I same the time. With that championship. I missed the butt, but the championship, <laughs> that championship. <laughs> it's it's oh, been. <laughs> Um, so, uh, he had both of them at the same time and it was amazing and it was interesting. And he won one of them from John Cena who saw that coming a bunch of ECW fans. Well, if you know anything about Rob Van Dam, you know, he's a wrestler. If you know anything else, you know, he loves pot. And if you know a third thing, he's buddies with Sabu who also loves pot. And then everybody in the world found that out because their asses got arrested, uh, for speeding and having a bunch of pot. In the car. Surprise, surprise. In Ohio. Rob Van Dam shows up on Raw almost the next day, loses the WWE Championship in a match to uh, – loses it to Edge. John Cena was also there. The very next night, uh, he goes on ECW, loses the ECW Championship to Big Show because Heyman turned on him. And that, as they say, was that. Heyman. Don't smoke pot. Speaking of pot, um, one thing I remember when, and by remember when, I mean I remember looking at it. <laughs> I remember watching a bunch of old SmackDowns and Raws from 2000, and there was a cool double champion during that early period, and that was the Eurocontinental Champion, Kurt Angle. I remember watching those segments, and those were fun times, because that was cool, Kurt Angle. That was, like, really comedical, like, funny, like – interesting like american hero kurt angle mm-hmm. and i actually really like that gimmick from what i from what i've watched it in i miss past. that kurt angle we already we already know how that turned out um, but yeah yeah no, that was fun times and I, and I think it was a cool concept and getting both of those belts like what like three months into his run was kind of cool so yeah bobby i'm going to go off on a limb here one of my favorite all-time wrestlers. Gonna go off on a limb. Off on limb, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know words. Don't you only know me. puns. <laughs> I only know puns. I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> no, no. Why aren't you in my hangout? Why can't I mute you? God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going with one of my all-time favorite wrestlers. Um, I had a column dedicated to this guy's catchphrase. Um, picture it: WCW Lance Storm wins the United States Championship, the Cruiserweight Championship, and the Hardcore Championship, and redesigns them so they look Canadian. Beautiful. All three. So Nice. That, that's that's right. mine I'm going with. Awesome. Guys, the ultimate one. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. The oh. Ultimo Dragon was one that really sticks out for me. Because uh, I remember back when, like, all this foreign wrestling was new and cool to me because Tony Schiavone, not no, fuck that guy. Uh, the other guy, Mike Tanay, was telling me about luchadors <laughs> and Ultimo Dragon came from Japan. But I think I thought he was Mexican anyways at the time. And he had all these belts that I never heard of and still don't really know what all they are. Um, <laughs> that was the greatest 
Um, I, I, I love that. It, that that's that's kind of my main. I, I think at the time he's on it there in the in the picture, the cruiserweight championship with WCW uh, added to the crown jewel collection that he had going on. Although now these days, I wonder if half of those belts were from promotions that didn't exist anymore, like some other people I know in the indies. Um, so there's that. Uh, <laughs> but there's. Um, but yeah, no, no, that that that's kind of the big. I'm the ultimate. He had nine belts at a time, I believe. So, Ultimo Dragon. Anybody in the chat room? Uh, uh, Matt, 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 Carl, Matt, Matt Carlin's, Carlin's actually. Whoa. Matt Carlin's actually whoa, brings up. Whoa, everybody, uh, calm down. Hello, Matt Carlin. <laughs> Matt Carlin. Do I need to raise his hand again? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Matt Carlin. Do I hear Matt says, Carlin's? Matt Carlin's is ready to speak, you guys. No, he brings up the point. Got to be on video for that. One I said about. Um, the the uh, Hardcore Championship was renamed to the Saskatchewan Hardcore International title, or the shit and, title. and what was the uh, the uh, Cruiserweight Championship was the um, under 100 kilos championship or something? Yeah. <laughs> Good uh, stuff. Fun times. So, oh, is that what we got? Is that what we got? All right, guys, thank yep. you. Uh, it, w- hey, if you want to support the show, again, go, go to the fan. Or, you know, you want to go to fan appreciation. Night, and now you're thinking, what should I wear the fan appreciation night? Well, What should I wear as I see Eamon coming on nothing. the phone? What should I be wearing? What should, should Eamon wear be wearing new. as that's, he comes in on that in. elephant? No, no LB, because that is counterpoint <laughs> to this ad. Um, I'm going to wear a... F- suit of pigeon feathers also counterpoint to this ad you should go to pro wrestling tees.com slash wms we got some great stuff there we got the wms logo property of w of uh, property of mayhem design